Hey guys, Dave here with my lovely wife Laura. Say hi. Hello. Okay, so the purpose of this video is very simple. A lot of people when they, a lot of guys when they are into guns and hunting or fishing or knives or any kind of sport like that, they meet a girl, they fall in love, and that girl is not necessarily receptive to the gun hobby, the gun sport. Uh, that was my case. Uh, Laura and I were high school sweethearts. We've been together for 17 years now. And when I started carrying in the house, which was in 1994-95, uh, we got married in 1995, September 1st, and she was terrified of guns. To the point where when I would come home, we had a little uh, two-foot cube safe in our closet. She mandated that I put my gun in the safe, unloaded, totally uh, stripped down, and then I could give her a kiss hello. I could not even kiss her hello until the gun was put away. And Laura's going to tell you a, a brief story, not any details, about why she felt that way at that time about guns. Go ahead. Hello. Um, sorry, I'm nervous, but the reason that it took me a while to even um, accept that he had guns in the house was before I met him up in college, I was dating this guy and who had a violent temper and he had a gun and when he would get drunk he decided one night that he was going to pull the gun out and he pulled it on my face. He didn't shoot or anything but he pointed it in my face um, and so from that incident it took me years and years and years I couldn't even trust men at that time let alone a man with a gun. Um, just recently, Dave um, showed me the gun, went over it with me, was very um, calm and waiting and understanding, showed me how to use it the correct way, that it wasn't going to hurt me, and then he took me to the range. The first time I was really nervous, um, every time I heard a shot I jumped back. But um, just to let anybody else know that went through that, that in time you will be okay to shoot guns and I've gone with him uh, twice now and the second time I obliviated the target so anyway um, thank you and hopefully we'll get comments and I can answer uh, questions if you'd like but that's the reason why in the beginning I hated guns yeah she was absolutely so terrified of them guys she you know like I said Put the gun away and then come say hello. I don't want to say hello to you until you put the gun away. Uh, it was like that for about five or six years. And then it got to the point where she would let me wear it in the house or keep it with me in the house. And then just over the last 18 months, two years, she has gotten to the point where she can handle them. I gave her uh, unloaded, of course, uh, different revolvers. Uh, she actually likes my six inch uh, Smith & Wesson that you saw in the, one of the very first videos, the best. That's her favorite gun. And she also, I think she's going to like the little XD9 that I, or XD40 that I just picked up. Uh, but it's called patience, guys. It's called showing respect for your spouse, your loved one, your wife, whatever you want to call her, or whatever she is to you. you got to show respect, and you cannot force it on her. If you force it on her, you know, Laura, for years, was just terrified of anything that went boom. We'd hear a backfire from a car. She'd say, what was that gunshot? And now she's so much more calm about it, and it's because... I'm not trying to pat myself on the back too much, but I'm just saying that I use patience. I wasn't going to force it on her because if I forced it on her, she probably still would not allow that you have guns in the house. Uh, but it's just, it's called being patient, guys. If you've got a wife that is terrified of guns and you know the reason, explain that this is not that situation. I am not her ex-boyfriend that was drunk and had a violent temper. I'm a very pot passive person. She knows that. She trusts me. So she knows that, you know, just because one person was an idiot with a gun doesn't mean that guns are dangerous. She knows that guns aren't dangerous. She knows how to handle a gun. She knows how to load a gun. She knows all about them now. And it's because I had the patience with her to deal with it. I knew that maybe the day would never come that she would shoot a gun. But I had faith in, in her. I had faith in me. I had faith in us and now we are team shooters. You know, she doesn't love the guns, she doesn't want to go shooting every day, but she's also not afraid of them. The other night, when you guys have watched my home invasion video, 
she was thankful afterwards. She said, I'm so glad that you have guns because she knows where there's an extra gun with bullets in it. She knows that if, you know, if I'm out, she knows what to do. She's been trained. We go over scenarios, we go over drills. Uh, that's another thing I wanted to mention in this video. Is it, thank you for all the nice comments in the uh, uh, home invasion video. I had a couple of people say, you know, I would have shot first and asked questions later. Well, then you're breaking the law because in Arizona, you have to have certain elements present in order to discharge a firearm. The person has to have intent. They have to show intent that they are going to harm you. They have to have opportunity. That person was outside our door. He didn't have opportunity yet. And you have to have means. They, they hadn't breached the perimeter of our home yet. They breached the walls, these walls around us, they knocked over those, but they had not gone in the bedroom door, which is right there, okay? So, I'm not gonna lose my firearms, my licenses, my freedom, possibly, by discharging a firearm prematurely. I gave, the, I gave the warning shots, and I've got friends that say, hey, I don't give any warning shots, I, say, I, I just tell them to turn, smile, and watch for flash. You know, there's cer certain scenarios for everything, guys, but if you're gonna be trigger happy, it could end up in a bad situation for you and I'm not gonna be in that position. So, thank you for all the kind comments. If you have any questions for Laura, or if you're, I encourage you to have your wives or girlfriends watch this video. If they have any questions, go ahead and send them to, the pe send them to me in a private message and I will read them to her and she'll get back to you. She'll be in future videos. She likes to be on camera. And we will, uh, <laughs> so we will uh, make sure that we get her on future videos, maybe even at the range in the next couple of days or weeks. So thanks a lot guys, and again, take patience, understand that the day may never come, that your significant other, girlfriend, sometimes boyfriend, if it's, if it's a female watching this, I do have a lot of women watch my channel. Uh, there's a chance that you're never gonna be at that level playing field where both of you care about guns or are not afraid of guns at the same time. But if you take your time, and you're not a bully, and you knock all that macho crap off, and you just take your time, it might happen the way it happened with us, okay? So that's all I gotta say, and thank you very much. Be sure to, uh, oh, also, I mentioned this in my little Dave on the Fly video earlier. Please follow me on Twitter. Uh, the, the link will be in the description. I would really love to get more followers. If you follow me on Twitter, you know when there's gonna be a new video coming up. And thank you very much. Pre uh, pass my name along to all your friends. Bye. Bye.